Alrighty, hey guys, this is Think Outside the Cube, and here in front of me I've got a 2016 GMC Yukon XL Denali. Now, if you've been following the channel for a few years now, you'll know that I actually filmed a 2011 standard wheelbase Denali a few years back. And then about a year ago, I filmed a 2014 Yukon XL Denali. And then this is actually the replacement for that vehicle. This is a quite a nice upgrade, a 2016 Yukon XL Denali. And this one in particular is in the onyx black exterior, and we have the cocoa and shale leather interior. So it's the lighter um, color option. But we'll go ahead and check out the wheels. We are riding on Bridgestone tires, and these are going to be our 22-inch chrome alloy wheels. Now, there is a bunch of different wheel options on the Denali. They're all like 22 inches. Um, I prefer the darker finish wheels, and I would get like the, um, the pearl white exterior color, and they would look really good together. But with the onyx black, the chrome, I guess, would be... Um, the best option. Now of course coming up front we do have the um, honeycomb style grill on all Denali models. Front parking sensors, no front cameras though. I would like to see a 360 camera especially for the sticker that these go for. Now we do have the power deploying running boards and so we'll go ahead and step in. Now we do have smart key. This is your key fob right here. But it's the older design, no touchpad behind the door handle. You'd have to press the button twice to unlock all the doors. So coming in, as I said, the um, cocoa and shell is the lighter leather. I would go for the kind of between, there's a black, then there's like a darker, about the color of that WeatherTech matte, kind of a brownish leather, and then this, um, this um, lighter leather option. So we'll go ahead and put our foot on the brake and press the button to start. We do have mileage wise, I think it was like 14, 1403 miles. And so we'll go ahead and check out under the hood. Now coming underneath the hood, we do have a 6.2 liter V8 engine. It does produce 460 horsepower and 420 foot pounds of torque to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic transmission. So um, the, the 6.2 is really kind of necessary on your XL models, especially loaded down with cargo and stuff. And if you do tow a boat, like this particular owner does, it definitely comes in handy. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. And so stepping back in, I'll go ahead and show you those power deploying running boards. Opening the door, they are actually pretty fast, and so if you're not jumping into the car super fast, then um, they won't really hit your shins, it won't become an issue. Now I do like Denali embroidered into your headrest right there. Your seats are perforated for your heated and cooled functions, all your power adjustments right there. And so we'll go ahead and hop in. Coming to our door panel, everything is of course nice and stitched and padded up top. Padded stitched leather on our armrest, power windows, locks up top, power mirrors right here, they are power folding. Child locks and window lockout, as well as two person memory down here. Various storage cubbies throughout the door, which is nice. Bose audio of course in here. Now if you're to the left of the steering wheel, we do have our heads up display controls right here. Safety tech and our power deploying running boards and our adjustable pedals right there. Then we do have our panel dim, we do have our automatic headlights, four wheel drive controls, and trailer brake controller. So going ahead and closing up. Coming to our steering wheel right here, it's a four spoke leather wrapped wheel. We do have our cruise control over here, heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, and then our little D-pad right here for our center display right there. Over on the left, we do have our blinkers and wipers, they are automatic. And then we do have our eight speed automatic right here, putting it in drive, and then down in M, you can manually shift it right here via the buttons, and then putting it in reverse. You, as you can see, your rear view camera right there, and it does have trajectory. So your dashboard's all a nice soft touch material. Coming to your audio system, going home. As you can see right here, we do have audio, phone, projection, navigation. Projection's just for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We do have Pandora, weather, and then going over traffic, OnStar, text messaging. I'm going to audio right here media you can toggle through your um, USB auxiliary Bluetooth streaming audio and all that kind of stuff and then radio is AM FM and satellite down below here we do have our tri-zone automatic climate controls with our driver front passenger and then your rear controls right here there's those heated and cooled seats that are definitely a nice feature underneath here we do have two more USBs for charging as well as a 12 volt power outlet um, as you know the the screen does go up but we all have seen that feature cup holders nice padded and stitched armrest and you do have your wireless charging right there plenty of room inside of there little storage cubbies on either side and before I forget as you can see up against the commander you do have that heads-up display and it is color it does show you your um, cruise control settings as well as your 
audio right now since this, that's what it's set, but you can go through your different um, settings, I guess you could say, over here on these controls. Up top, we do have our auto dimming review mirror with OnStar. I'm watching out for this stuff. Mirror and vanity light right here. I'll go ahead and put that back in a second. Then up top, as I said, auto dimming review mirror. We do have some interior illumination that is LED. We do have our controls for our sunroof right here. I would like to see a panoramic roof, but I understand they can't do that since we do have rear entertainment right here. Um, power trunk release right here, as well as our garage home link. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. And so coming into the rear, of course your leather back here does carry through, all perforated, nice and padded as well. Denali logo right there. And then stepping in, all your door panel materials do follow through with the padding right up here, padding down below, as well as your power window cup holder and then some storage. Now we do have dual seat mount pockets back here, as well as our um, rear AC power outlets. We do have heated rear seats right here, tri-stage, as well as our climate controls, USB input, as well as an SD card. Um, and then your AV inputs up here for your um, rear entertainment system. Little storage cubby right there. We do have the captain's chairs in this model. So as you can see, you do have your armrest that you can go up and down with. And then I'm pretty sure this model does have your power folding second row. And so we'll go ahead and see if we can demonstrate that. So there's a button right here. Just go ahead and press that again and it will flip forward. And that will gain you access into your third row. As you can see back there, it is a three seat bench and um, your adjustable headrest. As you can see, it is hard plastic back here. We do have a 12 volt power outlet and some cup holders. Another um, rear entertainment system screen for your third row passengers as well, which is a nice touch. So all your ventilation ducts up top, as well as some cornering handles right up there and right here. So let's go ahead and check out the cargo area and we'll wrap up the video. Now coming around back, this model is actually equipped with your foot actuated tailgate. I don't know if it's standard on the Denali, it might be grouped in with a tech package or something. But of course you just have the key fob with you, wave your foot underneath your trailer hitch and it will open right up your power tailgate. Now one thing that I actually saw online is with this new body style Yukon and with the new Escalades, you can actually take out this um, dead panel right here. This is just a plastic panel right here. Take out these tail lights and you can actually install the Escalade tail lights that run the length of the rear window and the trunk and that's definitely something I would do I think I read online it was about $1,500 at the Cadillac dealer to order those lights and it's just plug, plug and play and so that would definitely class up a Yukon even more but of course pressing the membrane underneath your license plate will open up your trunk we do have the all-weather mat back here. You do have your jack and stuff over here, various tie downs and stuff for cargo nets and stuff like that. You have a 12 volt power outlet over here as well as your second and third row folding features. Little tonneau cover right here that you can pull to keep prying eyes off your stuff, of course. And then you'll just go ahead and press this button right here to close your, your hatch. And so that'll be it for this 2016 Yukon Denali XL. Now I would drive one of these in a heartbeat. Maybe not an XL, maybe that's a little too large for my taste. But I would definitely go for a standard wheelbase in a heartbeat. I feel like the um, GMC has made a good medium between the Escalade, which is about too gaudy for me, and then uh, of course the, um, the Tahoe, which is coming pretty plebeian nowadays with every soccer mom in the carpool line that has one. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this quick video and I'll see you guys in my next video.